Yeah, that's right. I am, uh, yes, I am here uh, with a terrific guy, Wayne Lee, and uh, because I thought, you know, everyone has probably spent the day shopping, blah, 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 um, going out for those sales, and I'm actually going to focus this entire show on something you can't buy, that you're, that actually you can give to yourself that not a lot of us do, and that, of course, is a magical life. Money can actually, you know, give it to you, but empowering yourself to get to that state is what Wayne Lee is empowering us to do, and that, of course, is why I'm so delighted that you're here uh, because you know it, there is a real um, empowerment uh, that you really can't buy quite literally when it comes to being able to live your dreams and great point great lead-in in terms of wealth is first created in the mind as well yeah so true. you want to create a magical life and have overflowing abundance and yes yes okay and yes, yes starts from within people yeah. have to start focusing on that yeah more often S starts from with in. Okay, so we have, we're we learning. We're taking our step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step way to living our most magical life as we head into 2017. And by the way, oh my God, 2017. Um, it's so exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. Do you feel good about 2017? I feel like I am a kid. I like I do. Yeah. Like there's opportunities, lots of things. Sure, a lot of things haven't worked out in my life, but I'm learning. And it's like, you, you know, fine-tuning those things. Yeah. And now, but when I look ahead, when I look ahead, I see the kids, I see my relationships, I see... Um, the business and I see travel and there's so much to look forward to right so future vision is important future vision with excitement future vision with excitement yes Love, okay and these are all things that we need to inst we actually need to like put in we can actually put these things into our mind you were just saying earlier yeah. how we need to be more positive that we can look at the day and we can look at the, the sort of uh, political upheaval the economic situation we can look at them as negatives or we can look at them for opportunities, opportunities. Yes. Here's a great question that just came to mind that I've learned over the years from a great coach, uh, Dan Sullivan, and the, here's the question, and it will actually open the door for a lot of people that are watching this, and you, I know you'll probably go, hmm, great question. That was also a hypnotic suggestion. <laughs> so here it is. Uh, we call that future pacing. So in three years from now, is if we were standing right here in this atrium, what has to have happened for you to feel happy about your progress? Oh my God, what a great question. Not too technical, not no. too intellectual, not too smart. It's just a very simple question that gets people to picture what has to have happened. Huh. Take them to the future and then people can answer that. And if, if they don't, well, then they just need some time. But my whole thing is take this is the right part, right. is take five minutes and get the ball started and just go with it and then keep adding to that and it's going to change. But people also don't want to be wrong, so they don't want to put something down and then feel like, well, I've changed. Life's a whole process. Yeah. And if people start to get that, that one question will open the door and it, it can change lives just to have people start that. It can be what the number one step was when we started this conversation mm -hmm. was to write that down, to write yeah. down things. And that's a great question to get you to write it down. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And then of course, pretend to imagine that that is your reality. And uh, feel as though you've achieved it. Yes, oh, which is, that's the, I guess the most important thing. Yeah, feeling as though you've achieved it and then you can also create what we call in hypnosis an anchor or a trigger to always get that back. In previous sessions I've done, yeah, I got yeah. people to think of a color once they felt the feeling of achievement. Right. So when they think of the color, it always comes back. But right. most people have a lot of negative triggers. Gosh, it's going to be a terrible day. That's their statement. That's their trigger getting up. Instead of thinking of a color, putting their hand or heart, or feeling so good, and that goes back to the statement is that you know people feel bad for no good reason. So why not feel good for no good reason? Wow, well, that's a that and that's another good question to ask yourself. Okay, so step number three. Yes. Okay. Have you ever had a bad day? Oh, yes, brother. <laughs> I ask that question and I always get a laugh. Yeah. Right? Because, it, yeah, of Ever, course yeah. he does. And you've heard the statement, is not how, how you know, bad the day is, but it's how you deal with those days. It's how, so stress management. State management or stress management hmm. is the number three. Learning how to feel good in the moment most of the time. Stress management. Yeah. Huh. But a lot of people will grab towards stress management. So state management, how are you feeling in any moment? Either oh. Okay. okay, so I'm going to, when we come back, create a situation, an actual real life situation on straight uh, stress slash state management uh, that I just recently experienced. Awesome. And um, I would like to bring that to the table to help and perhaps you could counsel me through. I think I did pretty much everything wrong, so I'd like to hear how you can help. <laughs> we'll be back. More dinner television with the one, the only Wayne Lee, leading us into our best 2017, our best year, our most magical year yet. Stick with us.